everybody welcome back to my channel if you want to see how I got this look using only revolution products then please stay tuned right hello everyone welcome back to my channel and um, today I thought I would do something a little bit different it's probably already been done before and um, probably by another brand or something but I thought I would have a go so by the looks of it the only thing I don't have belonging to this brand is brushes and eyebrows as well that's it eyebrows I don't have eyebrows and I don't have a primer well, I do have a primer but it would be a fixing spray your dog's up to no good Duchess what are you doing really sorry about that anyway so we're just going to start off like we normally would Conceal my eyelids and I'm going to use a revelation, revelation, revolution fast base concealer. And this is in the shade. Which shade? Say five. Right. So, just going to use a tiny bit because I know this is very, very, very pigmented. And Makeup Revolution is one of them brands where. Once you use them, it's like, you know that saying, like with Pringles and that, once you start you can't stop, or once you pop you can't stop, or something like that. That's revolution for me anyway. So, I'm not doing anything special. Just making sure it's all equal. And I was devastated, I thought I only owned a liquid highlight from Revolution. That light is doing my head in. I wonder if I put that there. I wonder if it'll be any better. Is that any better? If I'm over here that way. Because honestly, this light is doing my friggin' head in. Let's just move it along a bit. There. That's better. You can actually see my face. Not that some of you want to see my face. Some of you are just chat to see the makeup looks. But if you are. Hello, how are you doing? I could, I, did, I forgot where the lens was there. So anyway, so for eyeshadows, I've got a lot of Revolution palettes, but I thought why not use my favourite one? So it is. Da -da -da -da. Imagination one. <laughs> and I suppose if I didn't have a face palette as well, the highlight of the moon. I could have just used one of these for my highlighters, so it's fine. So, I haven't got a clue what look I'm going for today, so I'm just going to roll with it. Starting with OK in at the crease. Oh, K, 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 K. Oh, shit, and I've got some on my nose. Oh, dear. Don't worry, I'll clean that up. Or oh, what you could do is you could get a clean brush if you want it and just... Just put that away in your nose, give you a bit contour because OKKK is a darker shade. So let's have a look. Now the thing is with these shades in Revolutions what I was gonna say products, like formulas, they just blend like in nothing, like saves you so much like so much time and energy now i'm using two nice just to go around like the outer edges oh i don't have lashes i don't have eyebrows and i don't have the brushes that was a that was the one i missed it was eyelashes so i'm going to take a more denser brush a lot more denser brush and this is a real techniques brush and i'm gonna dip into imagine so i'm just gonna go for a typical smoky brown simple brown look and i've been told i mean luckily for me i wasn't putting it in the wrong place but i've been told that if you place your crease shade in the wrong part of your eye you can make your eyes look bigger or smaller which I didn't know 
So I've always started placing my eyeshadow here and working my way in. Some people are going to start, but my like my eye here is where my brow bone finishes. Do you know what I mean? So if your eyebrow stops here, just say everyone's different. If you have a look, let us know if it's the same. But just say like your brow bone stopped here and you put your product here, you're making your eye shorter. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if you put it where your brow bone is, you're making your eye bigger. That probably doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but just have a look and just let us know. So yeah, I'm just going to blend the hell out of that. Probably a little bit more rougher than I'm supposed to, but you know. I'm just taking a mixture of Shoppy and Imagine. And I'm just going to run that in the outer corner. I'm not worrying about anything in the middle yet. Or in the inner corner. I'm literally worrying about the outer corner. So, yeah, that's looking nice. So, how are you all doing? What you've been doing? How are you all? So now I'm going to take an even more denser brush, which is a similar one. This is just, uh, I think this is an AB one. It's stained. It is clean. It's just stained. Then I'm going to go into Imagine Again, but a bit more deeper. So we've got a lot of product on there. And then just focus that on the outer corner. So what I'm doing is I'm literally just pressing it in, like pressing it right in there. It doesn't matter if you come underneath, don't worry about that, no if you're cleaned up. And I've been absolutely devastated because I can't wear makeup for too long because my eyes all are like crazy. So literally, like I could record a film, record a video, spend absolutely ages on it. And then like literally sometimes within like half an hour, my eyes are just mess. So sorry, I'm just starting to drag that into my crease now and now I've got it on the end of my nose. So yeah, so I would literally spend all that time and effort doing my makeup to just having to wipe it all off. And even Gary's said like, and I do not think that's a bit of a waste of time. And I'm like, I can't help it. I'm going to continue doing what I love. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's never, ever going to stop us. So I'm just going to clean up with a bit of love and life because I've gone a bit crazy with that. Um, yeah, I'm not going to stop doing something I absolutely love. Like, I literally love this. Honestly, if this become my full-time job, it would mean the absolute world of us. Like, I literally love it. I'm really sorry, I just did that. I just hate that bit there. Oh, I'm there. So, once we've got our base all blended together and it's looking all nice, no harsh lines, no patchiness, just nice smooth transitions. I bought it very messy and I blended it all out for hell. But, 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 but. Right, I don't know what we're going to do for the eye. I think I might just do a simple little, simple little crease cut, like literally just the tiniest, tiniest one. Not even like a half cut crease, just literally. And I shouldn't really be wasting fast base um, concealer on a cut crease. Seeing that all the coverage is there, so. That's the main thing, I suppose. There we go. And then all I'm do is just take another brush with the product on it and just pat that down slightly. Just so there's no harsh line. And then use a clean, a clean brush just to Push this into my lid. So anyway, I've been told it was a couple of years on um a couple of years on Instagram I told us that try and avoid anything on your waterline, try and avoid having product near your lash line, anything like that. 
get it. Try not to put. And in the imag imagination palette, I'm just taking Forever Friend, which is right at the top here. Um, yeah, so forget that. It's never going to happen. Also, go to your doctors because you might have something called dry eyes. Now, I haven't in fact done this yet. As soon as I can, I'm making an appointment at the doctors. I'm probably sick of the sight of his, but you know, if I can't do what I love doing, then it's no good to me, you know what I mean? So, I'm just taking a little bit of um, raise and praise as well. Putting that in the other corner, that's so pretty. I don't think I've ever used that colour before. That is beautiful, that, that is really pretty. Beautiful, right. So, I'm not putting an eyeliner on, I'm doing as the doctor ordered. I mean, what is that? Right. So then for mascara, of course, the only mascara I own is the Mascara Revolution one. So that's about as far as I'm going to go with mascara. Then I'm going to go off camera like I always do. Do my other eye and I'll join his, I'll do my eyebrows as well. And then I'll join his again. See you in a second. Right, there we go. I'm back. Now, can I just say something? This mascara, as you can see, it's given us a lovely curl. It's given us lovely thickness. I think this mascara got, like, wanted a a bit of hair down, do you know what I mean? You're right there. Um, this mascara, when it first came out, was hyped so much about, and everyone was spitting out reviews like left, right, and centre. And it was just like, right, okay. And then, like, no one hears of it anymore. It's like, where you going? Where you going? But it is a truly amazing mascara, like, literally. Like, this is only one coat. Do you know what I mean? Like, for the price so I'm just gonna clean up these areas and then move on to the face so I'll be right back but just lie down There we go, so it just to make up wipe, just to neat it up a little bit. So foundation, of course, I had to use this one, and it's a fast base stick foundation in the shade F10. Which oh my god, I mean it's too bloody dark, but I think it's only yeah it is. It's only revolution. No, I don't tell a lie. Ah, uh, actually. I'm going to mix it with the other one. I forgot all about that. Two seconds. I forgot all about this one, didn't I? The Revolution Pro one. Jesus. Such a brilliant YouTuber. All right, this is in the shade F9, which is a bit more pinky toned. So, I'm just going to put a couple of, in fact, now I'll put it on my sponge. Make life a little bit easier for myself, you know. Tiny little squirt, and I, this is very pink. But even though I hate to admit it, my skin tone is very pinky. Like even all of the number seven products I use. But then again, you're not supposed to use pink. Are you? You're supposed to use the opposite. So for me, it's like yellow. I need yellow undertones to cancel out my pink. Cancel out my pink skin, so to speak. Wait until straight off the bat I've put far too much on like I always do. What is wrong with you, Emma? What is bloody wrong with your sister? Sister, sister. 
but all in honesty I can remember why the hell I love this stuff. I mean it literally gives you a thought to finish. Wow! Come on, Emma. Who likes that noise? <laughs> I'm just kidding. The door needs to be like, Ew, that Geordie mystery is a right perv. Stay the hell away from her. That was my version of the SML. And a down chicken. Chins. Let's have a look how we're doing. I mean, complexion. What complexion? Spots. What spots? Bloody great. I love makeup. I was always told that when I was younger that if you wore too much makeup, you always ended up with spots. Well, in fact, that isn't at all true. Because growing up, yeah, love that. Love that finish. I love it. Um, so yeah, until I was growing up, I always, till I become an, ad an adult. Before, let's try again. Before I became a mum, I wore makeup like at least twice a day, maybe. And girl, you never, never, ever, ever had a spot. Never. Never, ever, ever, ever. Actually, I tell a lie, I did have a spot. I did. I used to get a, what I call a hormonal spot. I used to get on my chin. Right here. So I knew when it was that time of month. Sorry about all the glory detail, but, you know, honestly, it's math policy. So. I hope you are enjoying me content at the minute. I know I'm doing bits of everything, but I'm hoping that he's enjoying it because I'm enjoying making it for you. So, I'm going to have to be careful with this and not put it near my eyeball. Yeah, I hope he's enjoying it because I hate to be putting out content that it's like I'm not watching her anymore because she's a pile of, you know. Just make sure I've got that covered. Now I do also have a Revolution Contour Stick, but I'm not going to use that either. It's literally just a fast base foundation in the shade F18, I think. Now I haven't used this for a little while. And it's a Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. Can you say that? Yep, I haven't used that in a little while. So under eyes. Make sure not to get it in your eyes because that's never ever 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 good. Make sure we really bake that bloody concealer in. <laughs> Imagine if I answer the door like this. Be like hell no. Right, now we're looking hella crazy. Um, I always forget about that smell. Then again, because my foundation's so pink, it should help out. So. Mommy. Hello, baby! Mummy's looking crazy! Mommy. What is. Where you been? Nana. You been Nana's? Have you? Yeah. You been a good boy? Yeah. He's been out with his dog. He loves daddy and son. And I forgot why. Right, I've just checked my phone, it's not. What time is it then? 
coming. So next but not least is me liquid highlighter from Revolution in the shade. I always forget the name. What shade is it again? It just says liquid bronze gold. Oh there, liquid bronze gold. Yeah, that's what's cool. So, so I'm just gonna just bump it. And I remember this dries down very quickly, so it's gonna have to be quick with this. And I know you're supposed to obviously not set wet products. Put wet products on, on top of dry products, but this works really well without wet or dry, so or set or run set even. So because I've set my whole face already, I'm just going to use the Imagination Face Palette and I'm going to take, I'm sure my colour was Slay My Life here, yeah, what's this one here, Slay My Life. So get my highlighting brush and bump that on and set my lip with highlight. So once that's done, sorry about that, I thought I was recording doing my bronzer, obviously not. Um, so before I apply my lipstick, I want to say I don't have a lipstick, I do have a lipstick but I couldn't tell you where it is. So I'm just going to use this Honey Liqueur by Max Factor and it's a shade Honey Nude. This is my favourite, favourite shade of lipstick at the minute. It is just so nice. Mm. It's just a perfect and it smells so nice. So I'm gonna dust off what big then we're going to obviously set my face. Sorry, set my face. Should have one of them little air thingies that Jeffrey has in the Jeffrey store. <laughs> Make everything dry a lot quicker. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to give the video a like, a thumbs up. If you please subscribe to my channel, I'd be more than grateful. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for coming back, and I love you all, my lovelies. But until next time, I'll catch you all later. Bye.